Okay. Uh, uh, looks like you got something here called Haas. And that sounds for what? It's the uh, Hydronautics Autonomous Science and Security Boat. Okay. And what's the purpose of this and how does it work? It's a very simple platform that basically carries a virtual camera and uh, you can control your camera and take your pictures. And basically what it does is it lets you get your camera much closer to your target in the marine environment. So if you're monitoring marine mammals, you can get a lot closer than you could with a regular manned boat. So okay. it's small so it doesn't bother the animals. And it's also designed to operate in a rough surf zone and it can even land on top of rocks and things when the waves hit it. So okay. it's very robust. Okay, and this is a remote control for being able to operate it? Uh, this is a remote control. Um, so you, you have your, your speed control, um, your camera controls, and uh, your turning controls. Okay. There's, there's a lot of other channels, so you can do other, other things if you want. Okay, and what's the range of that? How far away from the boat can you get with it? About a half mile with this. Okay. So we also have a version that has a, um, it's autonomous that you can run an Iridium satellite link with. Okay. And we also have a version that has a side scan sonar. All right. Um, we recently, we took the side scan sonar to Nepal up to Mount Everest, and uh, where we were doing some science work on a lake that's 17,000 feet up. 17,000 feet up. Wow. Uh, so the lake is formed by a glacier, and as the planet warms, the glaciers melt. They uh -huh. create water. The water is gained by an ice dam okay. as part of the glacier. And yeah, so the problem is that there's that lake is very dangerous, so if the dam breaks, it'll wipe out villages downstream. Mm -hmm. It's too dangerous to put a man boat in or to uh, monitor any other way. So they're looking at this type of technology for uh, for doing that type of work. Okay. So I can do a side scan of sonar. It's got a remotely operated camera on there. And uh, it looks like it's got a different type of propulsion system. I don't see a propeller. Uh, it's a small jet drive, similar to what you would have on a um, small, like a jet ski. It's a miniature version of what a jet ski has. Uh -huh. um, it's electric powered. Um, it can be programmed to go up to 40 miles per hour. Um, we generally stay with programming at 20 miles to 24 miles per hour. Okay. Um, and it'll do, depending on your mission, on how much high speed operating you're doing versus floating around and taking pictures, you can operate anywhere from two hours to uh, six or seven hours. Okay. And it's entirely battery driven. And uh, how long will it take to swap out the batteries if you want to do continual missions? Uh, battery swap out takes probably about five minutes. Okay. But to pull the hatch off, change the batteries, and put the hatch on. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Tony. Thank you.